Hey, so this was our cart when we bought our very first rig, first of photography. As you can see, it reached almost $3,000. Pretty much all our savings went into that. Now, let's pretend we didn't have any savings and we still wanted to get into the hobby. Uh, what is the cheapest yet high quality gear uh, we can build first of photography? Well, I went around the web, did a lot of math, and I came up with a rig that was less than $1,200. Let's see. You will need seven things in total. A telescope, a mount, a camera, adapters, an auto guider, and power. So we're going to get rid of the two last ones. We don't need an auto guider because we're going to pick a small telescope. And also, since we're trying to get the cheapest possible gear, um, we don't need power right now because if you're imaging from home, you can just plug the mount into an outlet. All right, so number one, the telescope. So the cheapest yet very nice one to get would be the uh, William Optics Zenistar 61F 5.9. This one is pretty fast. I mean, it's almost F6, but it's still correctly fast and uh, it has a really wide field of view. It's only three pounds, so you know, it's, it's really nice and it's the price, mostly the price is not even 500 bucks. So I never tried it myself, but um, I've heard so many good things about it. For me, if I had to pick the cheapest yet uh, fantastic telescope, I would pick that one. Now, if you want to go the reflector way, like we did when we started, you can get one that's almost the same price. It's going to be the Orion, 8 inch astrograph which we love um, but the problem with this one is it's much bigger it's much heavier and uh, you will need more adapters for it so I would say stick with the refractor if you want to get the cheapest possible option so I'm going to include the price 478 in the calculator here and then we're going to go to the next one so Number two is going to be the mount. So for the mount, um, in the long run, this one will be nice. It's uh, pretty affordable and uh, it's pretty well known too. I mean, this is one of the, the classic ones, right? So the, uh, the AVX uh, be able to carry 30 pounds in total. So, you know, the telescope we just picked is three pounds. So you have plenty enough, right? So even if you decide to upgrade to a bigger scope later, this should still be somewhat safe to get. Um, now, if you really want to do this long term, probably go for a bigger man than this one. But this is okay for starter. So I'm going to add $899. And we're going to number three. Right now we are at $1377, which is pretty high already. But number three is a camera. Look at this, T3i, that's the camera we started with. It's a fantastic DSLR camera for, for beginners. I know myself and uh, Trevor Jones have used this one for years uh, to do astrophotography. And that's how we all learn pretty much. So this is one of the, the, the best, cheapest options you can get for, for a camera. That's the Canon T3i. And as you can see on eBay, it's barely 100 30 bucks uh, on Boy now. So I paid mine, I think four years ago, it was about 400 bucks. And as, of, as you can see today, it's not even uh, 130. So I'm going to add this here. So plus 130. We are now at $1,507. I promised you guys that we're gonna be under 1200. You will see why soon. Now the adapters, um, you will first need now, I'm not super sure about this one. Uh, that's the one I have, the T-ring, but uh, it's only 20 bucks anyway. But I'm not sure if this telescope comes with an included T-ring. I'm not sure. It says here it includes a, um, wait, include items. It includes a compression ring adapter, but um, I don't think that's it. So just to be safe, I would get this 20 bucks uh, T-ring for the Canon camera which I know for a fact fits perfectly fine in there. So plus 20, we are at $1,527. Now you need one more adapter for this telescope and camera. 
you will need a a flip flyer. If you don't know what this is, um, if you don't use this with a telescope, your stars on the edges are gonna look elongated. So you will need a flattener to make sure all the stars are pinpoint. So this is pretty pricey, it's almost 200 bucks, but obviously it's worth it because you really want a nice, you know, nice image with actual pinpoint stars, right? So I'm going to add plus 198. And we only have, uh, actually that's it, right? Yeah, there's no more. So this will be the full gear. And we reached $1,725. So, as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty cheap already, it's pretty affordable for a full rig, right? But now, since I was really trying to get below 1000, I couldn't, but I was trying to get below 1000, um, I went back to the scope and, I mean, come on, three pounds? The camera is about maybe three pounds too, I'm not sure, but you have a camera and a, and a telescope that have like three pounds and, six pounds, seven pounds in total, I don't know. And a mount that can do 30 pounds, you don't need this mount. If you really, really want to to stay as affordable as possible, if you're not sure about yourself going into the hobby in the long term, if you just want to, to taste the water, right? Um, then I would suggest switching out this mount. So I'm going to do minus uh, 899 and instead get this one right here, the Skywatcher Star Adventure. One of my friends has this mount. The main problem is that it's not a go-to mount, but if you're trying to do the bigger targets like Andromeda or the Orion Nebula or the Pleiades, those are very, very easy to find. You do not need to actually have a go-to mount. But then once again, as I just said, if you just want to to try it out for a few months, you know, if you don't know, if you don't want to spend money on something you're not sure about, then go for the cheap option. This one is only $329, so I'm going to add here $329, and we have a total price of $1,155 for a full rig. So, or you might need a tripod for this one, since it only comes with the, uh, with the actual mount. But um, yeah, so, this is the full rig I would suggest for someone who wants to start out and has no money as of today but is still dreaming about imaging deep sky objects. This is I think a, a good a good rig for the price. This is one of my friend's Instagram. Uh, it has the same mount, so the Skywatcher mount, which is the one I suggested earlier, and it has a very similar scope as well. It's actually an even cheaper scope. I think it's a Skywatcher uh, 72ED, I think. This, as you can see, is still high quality for this uh, you know, very affordable rig. So, you know, even though the mount is very cheap, you can still get nice images with pinpoint stars. So, just wanted to show you guys about uh, the fact that you don't need a crazy mount to get started. So I really had fun uh, compiling this uh, rig for you guys. I'm really trying to get under $1,000 mark, but um, it's kind of tough. So if you guys have any ideas on how to get under the 1K mark uh, for a full rig, let me know and I will add it to the written post. I'm actually very curious to know if it's possible or not. So I'll see you guys next time. Um, hopefully this was uh, helpful for you guys. And um, yeah, have fun and class guys.